Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through number system. In the last session, we learned how to represent root 2 on a number line. Today, let's study the representation of root 3, root 4, and root 5 on a number line and also discuss the square root spiral. For the representation of root 3 on a number line, first of all, let's find a suitable measurement on the base and altitude of a right triangle so that the hypotenuse is root 3 units. Yes, that is possible if we take base OB equals root 2 units and BC equals 1 unit. By Pythagoras' theorem, OC square equals OB square plus BC square equals root 2 the whole square plus 1 square equals 2 plus 1 equals 3. Therefore, OC equals root 3 units. If we take the base of a right triangle as root 2 units and the altitude as 1 unit, we get the hypotenuse as root 3 units. We can find the value of root 3 by long division method. The value of root 3 equals 1.732 etc. Therefore, root 3 lies between 1 and 2. To represent root 3 on a number line, the first step is to construct root 2 on the hypotenuse of a right triangle OAB. That already we have learnt in our previous session. Now at B. Draw a perpendicular to OB using a protractor. On this perpendicular, mark a point C so that BC equals 1 unit. Now join OC. We get a right triangle OBC. In right triangle OBC, by Pythagoras' theorem, OC square equals OB square plus BC square equals root 2 the whole square plus 1 square equals 2 plus 1 equals 3. Therefore, OC equals root 3 units. Now root 3 is on the hypotenuse of a right triangle, OBC. We have to bring it on the number line. For that, with O as center and OC as radius, draw an arc intersecting the number line at P. Then, P represents root 3 on the number line. Similarly, let us represent root 4 on a number line. For that, take root 3 units as base and 1 unit as altitude of a right triangle so that hypotenuse equals root 4 units. In right triangle, OCD, take OC equals root 3 units, CD equals 1 unit. By Pythagoras' theorem, OD square equals OC square plus CD square equals root 3 whole square plus 1 square equals 3 plus 1 equals 4. Therefore, OD equals root 4 units, which is 2 units. To represent root 4 on a number line, the first step is 
to construct a right triangle OCB with hypotenuse root 3 that we have already done. Now at C, draw a perpendicular to OC using a protractor. On this perpendicular, mark a point D so that CD equals one unit. Now join OD. We get a right triangle, OCD, with base, OC, equals, root 3 units, altitude CD, equals 1 unit, and hypotenuse, OD, equals root 4 units. Now root 4, is on the hypotenuse of right triangle, OCD. We have to bring it, on the number line, for that, with O as center, and OD as radius, draw an arc, intersecting the number line at Q. Then, Q represents root 4 on the number line. Next let us represent root 5 on the number line. For that, take root 4 units as base and 1 unit as altitude of a right triangle so that hypotenuse equals root 5 units. In right triangle ODE, take OD equals root 4 units and DE equals 1 unit. By Pythagoras' theorem, OE square equals OD square plus DE square equals root 4 the whole square plus 1 square equals 4 plus 1 equals 5. Therefore, OE equals root 5 units. We can find the value of root 5 by long division method. Therefore, the value of root 5 is 2.236, etc. So, root 5 lies between 2 and 3. To represent root 5 on a number line, the first step is to construct a right triangle OCD with hypotenuse root 4 that we have done already. Now at D, draw a perpendicular to OD using a protractor. On this perpendicular, mark a point E so that DE equals one unit. Now join OE. We get a right triangle, ODE with base, OD equals root 4 units, altitude, DE equals 1 unit, and hypotenuse, OE equals root 5 units. Now root 5 is on the hypotenuse of right triangle, ODE. We have to bring it on the number line. For that, with O as center, and OE, as radius, draw an arc, intersecting the number line, at R. Then, R represents root 5, on the number line. Similarly, we can draw, root 6, root 7, etc., on the number line. Hence, we have seen that, for the representation of, root 2, we need, root 1 as the base of the right triangle. That is, root of 2 minus 1. For the representation of root 3, we need root 2 as the base of the right triangle. And root 2 can be written as root of 3 minus 1. 
For the representation of root 4, we need root 3 as the base of the right triangle. And root 3 can be written as root of 4 minus 1. For the representation of root 5, we need root 4 as the base of the right triangle. That is, root of 5 minus 1 and so on. Similarly, we can locate root n for any positive integer n after root of n minus 1 has been located. Thus we can construct a square root spiral. That is, a square root spiral is a spiral formed by many right-angled triangles where the hypotenuse of each triangle is the square root of a number. Using square root spiral, we can represent root 2, root 3, root 4, root 5, etc. on a number line. Let's have a quick recap. Today we learned representation of root 3, root 4, and root 5 on a number line, and we discussed a square root spiral. Before winding up, let's check what you understood by doing an activity. Represent root 7 on a number line. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.